They came to pay their respects to a husband, father, grandfather, and to someone who in his day was one of the best centers in the world. He was hard, brash, and tough, but a kind man with a soft heart. The box are away again. Cainsford scored eight tries in his 33 tests in a box career that stretched from 1960 till 1967. In all, he played 71 Springbok matches. He remained the most capped box centre until 2001 when his record was overtaken by Yapi Mulder. He was hard, you know, he, he was my coach uh, at, at Villages and then at Western Province. And, you know, as youngsters, we, we learned so much from John and, and um, we learned about his confidence. He really attacked everything, you know, everything he took on, he just he attacked with enthusiasm and, you know, John was a winner. The books that they brought out were very important. You know, and each guy close to his retirement used to write a book and that's how many people got to know what was going on and as a young guy, you know, Nice Guys Come Second became sort of like a must read for any young rugby player like myself and, uh, you, you know, and I think it became one of those sort of like iconic books where he spoke about himself and playing rugby. I was very, very lucky that I met him very early on in my, in my life. Uh, and actually got a, a quote from him, from, from him at the age of five where he just told me, you know, if you want to play for the Springboks, you don't kick the ball, you run with it. Uh, and that sort of stuck to, 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 to the way that I play the game as well. Cainsford is survived by his wife Shona, two sons, two daughters and 11 grandchildren. Craig Marie, SABC News, Paul.